Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and of course we do get questions about Windows 11 and how it's going to be on October 5th and one of the things that you have to understand is what you have is what you'll get. Uh, a lot of people are on the impression that you know there's going to be some big magical update that fixes a million things and does things that you want that aren't actually working. Well, uh, that is not going to be the case as the, what we are actually testing and coming in a couple of weeks from now is what you'll see. But there are some features that people are asking and the number one feature and a lot of you talking about it, a lot of you are uh, sad at the fact that the taskbar cannot be moved. And I get it in a way because they redesigned the way that, you know, everything works and the panels and how, you know, you'll have different things coming from the right side of your screen or the left side of your screen. Um, what you need to understand is that I think for now, um, they're not there yet. Okay. It's obvious that they could do something about it, but probably because of the first version of Windows 11's design, for now, it's not going to be possible. And But it is the number one requested feature in the feedback hub, moving the taskbar where you want on the screen. You know, although the majority of people, and as a tech guy, I would say that probably 98% of everyone uses their Windows computer with a taskbar at the bottom and don't really care. The fact is that some people are using the taskbar and putting it at different positions. Depending on what you do, uh, sometimes it's, it's you know, it could be better for, and some people like it like that anyways. So it's the number one requested feature. What surprises me more about this number one requested feature is the fact, like I just said, that the majority of people in the world that I've seen on their PCs all have it at the bottom and never move it. Um, so the fact that it actually becomes the number one requested feature is kind of a little surprising. But hey, it's the, uh, it's, it's the way it works. Uh, and of course, anybody, once again, that thinks that this start menu in the middle shouldn't be there, you can push it to the left side. Remember, in the settings, you can actually ask Windows to simply put the taskbar in the left side of your screen. So you just, uh, not the taskbar, but the start button, you just click left and it becomes like Windows 10, basically. Or anyways. What other feature is also high up on the list? Apparently, a lot of people are asking for live tiles again, which is gone, and I don't think that's going to come back. My prediction is that possibly next year in the big, the next big feature update, that's probably when you will have the um, taskbar possibility of moving the taskbar somewhere else. I think right now they just didn't have time to start coping with the fact that these panels that show up from left to right and so on are in the way and it's kind of creating a weird thing because they'll have to move these panels. Uh, you know, they can still show up from the left and right if you put the taskbar at the top, but if you put your taskbar on the left or on the right, they have to show up differently. So I think that maybe is something they need to work on. So th I wouldn't be surprised that is going to be something that's going to be okay maybe next year. But as far as the live tiles, I think those are dead and will never come back, honestly, uh, for sure. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.